Hey planner babes, it's Amber from Amber Plans Her Day and I just wanted to come on for some more happy news with Amber. So make sure you stay tuned. I don't think I have tons to talk about this week, but there are some really, really fun and exciting stuff that is coming up. I saw a sneak peek um, and Stephanie's book club. We're going to talk about those. But first, just very briefly, we're going to talk about the um, National Planner Day. So the National Planner Day, the squad mentors, there is five of them. They did classes on the Michaels websites like via Zoom. Um, and on Tuesday, so just a couple days ago, the... Um, classes are now available to re-watch. So if you either caught it on Saturday in the live Zoom class or you were able to watch re-watch it, um, let me know what you guys thought about them. Did you guys get to join or did you re-watch it? What, like, what kind of um, opinions do you have? I signed up for them all, um, but then Saturday ended up being a really crazy day. Our plans um, got totally canceled. So we had all the kids all day and that was just a really big mess and I just couldn't join. I mean, I have not re-watched the streaming services of it yet, um, but I'm intending to, if not watch all of them, watch a few of them. Um, that really interested me. Um, so I think it was a great opportunity to kind of see what was going on around um, and see just different like ideas of how you can use your planner, memory keeping, accessories, rainbow spreads, you know, being productive, getting the most out of your planner, all the things. And I think the squad mentors, from what I've heard, did phenomenal. So I really want to hear what you guys think. Did you watch them or tune in or anything like that? Did you guys pick certain ones over others? Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys thought about that. Also on National Planner Day and a little bit last week, there were a couple sales going on on the Happy Planners website. So let me know if you guys ordered anything. Did you guys pick up anything in the sales? I know one of the sales was like a free deluxe cover or free snapping cover, something like that, with a $75 purchase. And I was just like, that's eh, not really worth it for me. Definitely not. Um, and then I think on National Planner Day, was it like, no, that was the Today Show. Did you guys see the Happy Planner on the Today Show? That was just recent. That was just a few days ago. That was on Monday, I think. And they were on the Today Show, and there was a coupon code, like 40 today or today 40 or something like that, for 40% off of all 18-month planners. So did you guys um, check that out? Did you guys order anything from there? Um, and I think there was even another sale on the... National Planner Day, but I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, there was a lot going on this week sale-wise, so if you guys ordered anything, let me know because I love hearing what you guys grab. Um, just like I like filming hauls, I also like hearing about hauls. <laughs> I love seeing people's hauls, and then like it makes me want to go get it, or like, oh wow, I want to see how they use that, so let me know what you guys think about that. Anyway, um, so yeah, then the Happy Planner was on the Today Show, and they had a little segment about, um, small businesses, and I think that was great, and that was really interesting, um, I just seen, I saw on Instagram, so they had it on, um, IGTV, so I'll try to find that and link it so that you guys can watch it if you didn't watch it yet, it's just a very, very brief, um, overview of the Happy Planner and how they're a small business, and, um, you know, some small businesses businesses are being hit by the pandemic. Da 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 da. <sighs> you know me. Okay, so now the two big things that I wanted to talk about. Um, should we talk about? Let's talk about Stephanie's book club first. So Stephanie has announced her book club. It is starting on September the sixth. Um, and. Let's see here. I want to get the details. It is four weeks long, and it is a guided and interactive um, content book study. The content will, and the content will remain available on the website indefinitely on her website. 
Um, so you sign up for the book club email with the link in her bio. and Stephanie Fleming's bio on her Instagram page. So there, look, it seems like there's four like modules, I guess you can call them. Um, so let me tell you what they are. So the very first module that will go live on the 6th of September, that's going to kick off the book club. That is Defining Happiness. And then every single uh, module has four different um, content related things. So one is Steph's commentary. So what does she think about it? Um, what, you know, she has to say about the chapters that we just read, um, level up questions. I don't know. I'm just thinking thought provoking questions, happy life manifesto, maybe like a worksheet. I don't know. Um, and then creative challenge. So I think that's kind of fun. They're trying to tie in the creativity aspect of, into it. The second module will release September 13th. So it seems like once a week. And that is about the four P's. If you've ever heard, Stephanie, the four P's are huge for her um, in planning. And she'll have a whole module of that. On September 20th, you'll have nourishing happiness. Nurturing happiness. Sorry. Nurturing happiness. And then on September 27th, that is called living happy. So those are the four modules of the um, book club and you would just sign up on Stephanie's Instagram page so if you guys um, want to check that out let me know what you guys are thinking of doing are you guys gonna buy the book did you pre-order are you waiting for Michael's exclusive um, are you guys gonna join the book club read it as you go or kind of what are you thinking about that I will probably buy the Michael's exclusive copy of the book depending how much it costs I don't know if it's going to cost more than Amazon because it's like a limited edition for Michael's. Um, but, and maybe I can use a coupon. I don't know. But Michael's coupons have been awful lately. So it's like, mm. but anyway, I'll probably get it at Michael's and I'll probably sign up for the book club, but I totally stink at reading. Um, I don't enjoy it and I'm definitely not like a quick reader. So getting like a book like that done in four weeks does not sound viable to me. So I'll probably sign up for the book club. But like she said, the access is there lifetime. Um, so I might just kind of go at my own pace and print out worksheets or do whatever and just kind of follow along um, with like what works best for me. So let me know what you guys are thinking of doing. Are you guys like even interested in this book at all? Or you guys like kind of think like, meh, whatever. I think... It's awesome that she's branching out into this and um, it's just different, right? Like, I just like, I guess personally, like I'll give you my opinion here, like, like the happy planner can easily be transferred into different companies. Um, I'm not saying that quality is changing or whatever. I've heard things with the be happy box, whatever, um, you know, companies can easily be shifted owners and employees and um, content, all the things. But honestly, when I think of like Stephanie Fleming, right, like she is someone who just eludes happiness. And I think that her like going back and writing a book and like, that's what, sh that's what she is, you know, that's what she does. And I think that that's um, different. Like, that's her compared to like a company that she owns or that she owned you know what I'm saying so anyway that's just my opinion um I think that change is inevitable with change of power and um you know ownerships and employees and all the things um but Stephanie like that's what she really believes in and I think that she's like is going to continue to believe that for the rest of her life. Like, that's what she's been living her life. You know, she's been finding her happiness. Um, she's been planning a happy life. So, no matter what, I think that some of that will um, play a role in what she does in the future. Okay, the very last thing that I want to talk about is on the Happy Planners stories on Wednesday. Today, this evening, um, before this, I'm filming this, they did a sneak peek of a 2021 planner say what so it has like ombre the ones that they showed 
ombre um, discs, like an, a creamy, orangey, peachy colors. And I'll make sure the picture's here. And it has like dots around it and it says yay. And then it says 2021. What? And then it says fall 2020, less than a month away. Less than a month. I am so excited. Fall release is my favorite time of year. Um, my original guess was that this planner was the Happy Planner Girl. But I was talking to my friend and she's like, no, it can't be Happy Planner Girl because um, it's not metal discs. And I was like, that's a really good point. All the Happy Planner Girls have had metal discs. But I feel like in the past, Happy Planner Girls have been released and announced before the 12 month planners have been. Um, so that's kind of why I was thinking that. But she has a total good point. So I think it's probably just a regular planner. I don't know what layout it is. I don't know anything about it. I just saw exactly the picture that I showed you. I don't have an insider. I don't work for the Happy Planner. Um, but I'm really, really excited. Super excited. I love fall releases. It's my favorite and most money-taking releases. Shh. Just kidding. Um, anyway, whether that's Happy Planner Girl or not, we know Happy Planner Girl is probably coming up in the near, near future. Um, and 12 month planners are probably coming up in the near, near future and 12 month accessories, new sticker books, all the things that are all coming up within the next month or two. And it's really, really exciting. What are you guys hoping for? Do you guys have, ooh, let's ask this. In the coming weeks, we'll have more sneak peeks for Happy Planner Girls. I'm certain of it, but... Do you guys have guesses or hopes or dreams or desires or um, like you just know that this person is going to be a happy planner girl? What do you guys think? I think I'm not 100% positive it's going to be a happy planner girl, but I think the happy planner is going to come out with a daily planner. I think that's been way more popular recently and I think that they might come out with one. If not this release, maybe next release, maybe next fall. But I think it's coming. That's my guess. That's like my only guess. I have no idea. Um, I would like to see like a retro girl. I think that'd be really cute. Um, it's so hard because like I feel like they've already done so many girls. Maybe like a wellness. I know they've done like Faith Warrior, but maybe like a wellness warrior. I know that healthy hero, that's different than wellness. So I don't know. It's gonna be really interesting. I'm really excited. Let me know if you guys know. Let me know if you guys have any guesses or hopes um, for what you're wanting. Oh, I also want to talk about you guys. The last thing I want to talk about is Florida and California, you guys. Our friends, our planner friends, our planner babes, our planner neighbors, they are have been experiencing hurricanes florida like all up the east coast really um they've been experiencing hurricanes california has been having fires so first off if you are an east coast babe or a california babe that's being affected in any way let us know how we can be supporting you or praying for you or anything like that in the comments let just check in and let us know um how you're doing and um and just, just keep up with us. If you need anything, please, we're here. Um, we all want to support each other. This is the planner community. So make sure, please let me know. Please let us know. Um, we're praying for you, and we hope that you're doing okay. And we're here. We're here for you if you need it. And I do want to thank um, my friend, my new friend, Denise for you know, reminding me to mention this today um she just was like this is really important I'm like you're so right you are so right and last week I feel like I had missed a lot of news after the fact um and this is not something that I wanted to miss on I did not want to miss on this opportunity to talk to you guys about about what's going on um about how much I care for you guys and all those things so please keep us updated and let us know how you're doing 
that is it for this episode of Happy News with Amber. I hope that you guys have a great weekend and make sure you guys comment all the things in the comments below and I'll be down there all day. Well, thanks for following along as I share all the news with you guys. I hope that you will continue to follow along as I plan a happy life and continue to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye, friends. <laughs>